to part three of my series on getting this machine back together again and tested and working 100%. In part one, we went through and we went through and diagnosed what was wrong, and then we took it apart. And in the process, we found out that we did need a few few things to be purchased. So we needed new rollers, and there was also a problem with the soundboard. So in part two, we fixed the soundboard. And in part three, we're going to put this whole thing back together again, make it functional, and go over what happened and how it worked out and what we think the results were. Okay, so we've got the uh, projector laying on its side. This way you can put the rollers back on easier. First thing we're going to do is we're going to make a test and show that how the mechanism works. So when you put it into, into gear, a whole bunch of things in the bottom, all things, things start to engage. So that's what we want to look at. We look at places that move. So right now we're seeing that, particularly I'm looking over here, these, this screw and this screw here hold this plate on, and we're going to lubricate those points. And they're the ones I think that are most important. So I'm going to try those first. I'm going to put a little lubrication around those, and we'll start there. So I'm going to use this super lubed synthetic grease, and um, it's kind of based on Teflon, so it's a good use of that. I'm just going to dab a little of my finger and put it around the screw and then try to get it a little bit around this screw as well. And then what we'll do is move it and dab a little more on. So it's covering the whole thing. This is just to make those parts move easier. Okay, so the first roller we're going to change is the flange roller, which is the big one here. This is the flange roller, and it's got two sides to it. It's got the upper side and it's got a lower side. So this, the lower side has got this little indent in it, and the upper side is kind of flat on top. Now you can tell that it matches this one because there's like a little ridge down here at the bottom you can probably see. So that's going to match up with that. So to start, we're going to add a little drop of oil to it. Don't need a lot, just a little bit. And then maybe clean up if you have any spill. You can always clean up at the bottom down here. And then we'll throw the roller on top. And we'll replace the washer that was on top. And we'll replace the nut. And then we're going to repeat the process for the roller up front here. Get the excess off the bottom here, just a little bit. And this uses a one of the bigger rollers. And they just go on like that. Now we're going to replace the other big roller, the bigger roller. With on the back of the put a little oil in there, not a whole lot. And this is the other larger roller that comes in the kit. So these little ro these rollers, you put the clip back on them. You just got to get them so they're started. Then you can get the pliers in there and just squeeze them on like that and then they're on and that roller is ready to go now I've already lubricated this post right here and I'm going to put this unit back together again and you can you can feel when it goes in place it just goes down and pushes all the way down and then that's on. And we do the same thing. We use the clip that's the bigger clip this time. We just put the bigger clip on there so it's in place. And then get our pliers in place. And squeeze it on. 
So this plastic cog right here is what activates the whole thing when you put the button, the uh, handle back on it. You can see that that when you twist it, it actually moves the mechanism over here. You can see that. So it's actually making contact right along here and try to stay out of the picture saying. And then it pushes it back. So what we're going to do is add a little bit of grease to both sides of this. There's a two sides to this thing, this mechanism. And uh, we're going to add a little bit of grease in there and uh, make that a little bit, hopefully a little more smoother. So what we've done is we've put all the rollers back on and uh, we've greased all the different sections and the button's only laying on top for right now, the uh, knob um, that turns everything on. That's just laying on top for now. It's not tightened or anything. But yeah, you can see that we've gotten everything back in place and um, everything should be ready to go. And we can move the handle over here and everything engages real nice and smooth. It seems to. So we're in good shape, I think. So we cleaned up the gate with some alcohol. I don't like to use anything abrasive on this because, you know, it gets a lot of wear with the film as, as well. So I don't think it's a good idea to put anything real abrasive on it. I cleaned the inside as well with some, some alcohol. And um, I'm going to replace this gate now. And to do that, you just simply kind of reverse the process. You put it in the bottom hole, and then you just push it in the top and snap it in place. Now the gate's been replaced. I used a household detergent to try to clean up the plastic pieces on here. And now I'm going to replace this one. This cover. There were three screws holding this cover on, so I'm going to replace the three three screws. And the 2.5 uh, millimeter uh, hex key will put that back on the button, the control knob. And we have on this one, we have our knob for the uh, buy-in control and the uh, tone control. And that only goes on one way, apparently, so that's good. And then you replace the uh, volume knob on top of it. And that one might be a little more subjective. So what we're going to do is we're going to make sure it's all the way down. There's a little dot on the top of it right here. We're going to align that with the top of the button. And then when we turn it on, yeah, that's where it should be. We can't forget our roller that was in the way, so we're going to put him back on. I did drop a little bit of oil on the inside of it, too. But... He just twists down until he tightens down. There you go. We clean up the lens with some lens cleaner. And then we do is replace that. Remember this time to pull this out, make it easier on ourselves. And then uh, just pull up on this knob and put it back down and when you move back and forth you'll get to a point where the lens will move back and forth and you'll know you got it in the roof ready to go now we can replace this cover just goes in the front like that it snaps in place and we'll replace the cover for the bulb which I found I had another one so we will use that one instead didn't have the broken fin at the top Replace that one. He's in place good. So then we can pla place the front cover. And this just snaps on as well. There you go. Looking good. And then there's four screws that hold the cover, back cover on. And we'll replace those. Okay, so one thing you're never supposed to do when you shoot a video like this is to not test something before you show it, right? Well, you know what? I think we're going to break the rules. Let's just try it. I really haven't tested this since I put it all back together again. So let's give it a shot. And we have the film in. These things are great. I love the way they run them. I like this projector a lot. 
You can tell I got a lot of them. But yeah. So, okay, I'm going to turn on the sound. Oh, got a light. That's good. The exciter light works. Still working. That's a good sign. Oh, it sounds clean, too. Now, I don't have a screen set up. So. Please step up. Laurel and Hardy oh, yeah. are the best husbands making an elaborate withdrawal. There you go. He's running good, too. The boys have just explained that they're merely going to the picture show. And, of course, the wives believe their every word. Downtown, two young ladies are getting a shoe shot. So there you go. Uh, I guess the only thing we really need to test is to make sure that it rewinds good too. The rewinding is important. So I'll unthread the projector. Turn the sound. And we'll hit rewind. And rewind looks good. So let's do a little recap on what we did. We started off by going through the machine and finding out what was wrong with it and we cleaned it up because it was pretty dirty inside. Uh, we determined that the rollers probably needed replacing. They may have been okay but I didn't feel real good when I was testing them originally. Um, we also found the sound wasn't working. Now the sound not working was a, ended up being a bigger problem. We tested the, tested the fuses, I tested the bulb itself, but we found out that it was actually a bridge rectifier, and uh, I found I found out it wasn't available anymore, so I went out and re found a replacement for it. Um, while I was in there, I also replaced all the electrolytic capacitors, which is a good thing to do because over time they actually go bad. Um, we then we did um, all the rollers. We took all the rollers out. We just did that earlier in this video, and um, we replaced all the rollers in it. Uh, we put uh, lubrication all over the place. We, we lubricated everything, so that we didn't have any problems going forward. The stuff would just move like it's supposed to move. Um, and then we reassembled the machine and we tested all of its functions. So I think it's in a really great place. So this is the first machine that we're going to, I'm finishing um, that I've ever done on video. I have done them before, but this is the first one on video. And there'll be more videos coming over time as I get money to do the parts and whatever I need to do to make the machines 100% or as good as they can be. So this is the end of this video, but um, look for more coming in the future, and uh, thank you for watching.